Okay, now let's derive uh, the lens transformation. So the lens transformation basically is going to allow us to figure out how to go from a from the coordinates measured in one reference frame, C, T, X, Y, Z, to the coordinates as measured in a difference frame, which is obviously moving with respect to the first. So for example, these events uh, that, I've writ that I wrote down here that we discussed in the previous uh, uh, part of the lecture uh, that happened in this particular reference frame, how would I transform their coordinates, these coordinates, to different coordinates moving in a, di in a different reference frame, which is moving with respect to the first? Okay? That's what the Lorentz transformation does. It allows you to actually do calculations and computations. Okay, so let's first assume that we have two coordinate systems, S and S prime, and that S prime is moving to the right with velocity V, um, which again is just equal to beta times C, again in the plus X direction with respect to S. So um, we have two, again, two kind of arbitrary coordinate systems and one's moving to the right with velocity V. Now it's important what we're going to talk about today, these lens transformations, we're not going to consider the most general case. We're going to consider the case, again, where the two, the two coordinate systems, uh, the, there's no rotation between the two coordinate systems. So X, Y, and Z are aligned with respect to each other, okay? And also the specific case where the motion between the two coordinate systems is along the X direction, okay? So in this case, we've already seen that Y prime is equal to y and z prime is equal to z. So all we have to do is worry about uh, transforming the time coordinate and the um, and the x coordinate. Okay. Okay. Now it's it's reasonable to assume that the transformation between uh, these two coordinate systems, that is, if we want to find the coordinate values of an event in one reference frame that's moving with respect to another, that that transformation should be linear. That is, that it should only involve uh, uh, combinations of the coordinates uh, to the first power. So for example, in general, if we have a linear transformation, then um, then the time coordinate, ct prime in, the, in s prime, for a particular event, okay, let's just draw an event here, okay, a, a, a dot which represents an event, um, that the time coordinate for that event in, this, in the prime frame should be some linear combination of the time coordinate in the unprimed frame and the time coordinate and the spatial coordinate, the x coordinate in the, um, in the uh, unprimed frame. Now again, y prime is equal to z prime, y prime is equal to y and z prime is equal to z, so we've left that, those out of this, uh, of this uh, um, equation because we're only interested in, again, the motion along the x direction. So, uh, so basically we have two arbitrary coefficients, alpha 1 and alpha 2, which we're going to solve for um, to make the transformation. And similarly, the x coordinate in the, m, in the primed frame is equal to some linear, linear combination of the time and x coordinate in the unprimed frame. Okay, so our job now if we assume this linear transformation, is to basically just solve somehow solve for alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, and alpha four these these uh, arbitrary coefficients. Okay, now the other thing that we uh, can do, which will help us, is to imagine that when the coordinate, when the origin of the s prime coordinate system passes the origin of the s coordinate system. Okay, so when the coordinate, when the origin of the unprimed coordinate system passes the coordinate of the, of the, the origin of the prime coordinate system passes the uh, origin of the unprimed coordinate system. Okay, so when x equals x prime equals zero, then we can imagine that the two uh, observers, one and s, one and s prime, start stopwatches. So basically, what that amounts to is that t is equal to t prime equals zero when x is equal to x prime equals zero. So there's a particular event, a single event, that is the origins passing each other, and at that point, that single event, we're going to mark that as time equals zero, and since it's the coordinate origins, then that's also x equals x prime equals zero. Okay, and that basically just allows us to rewrite the coordinates, the, the uh, the general transformation as follows with delta t's and delta x's. 